Hi dear students, this is Hassan Korani. As I promised you, we are going to start a new chapter in this video uh, about the scale product of vectors in a plane. Uh, usually in science, we use scalar products of vector in physics and mathematics. In mathematics, usually we uh, we get the benefits of this uh, of scalar products uh, to calculate sides and angles in any triangles in any triangles uh, knowing the sides let's say of a triangle we can know the angles whatever the nature of this triangle okay before we start the uh, definition of scalar product we need a necessary and an important concept which is the uh, geometric angle between two vectors let's see uh, this simple definition the definition of geometric angle between two vectors says that the geometric angle alpha between two vectors is the angle formed at their common origin I think it's clear let's see an example on GeoGebra app suppose that we have a vector u and another vector v sure they are not non-zero vectors they have a common origin they are placed uh, at a their origins are at a so the geometric angle between them according to the definition is this angle which is alpha look if we change all uh, the, po the position of v we still have alpha be careful about this case uh, we don't uh, consider the exterior angle in fact we consider always the interior angle that's it okay let's go back to see what do we have else as you know we have here a title cases as you know uh, we don't have usually uh, the uh, vectors uh, drawn at the same origin sometimes we may have in exercises vectors with different positions in fact we are going to study these main four cases for position of vectors relative positions of vectors in the first case as you see we have vectors as the as we need they have the same origin in the second case they have the same extremity and the third case we have uh, the extremity of the first at the origin of the second vector and in the last case we have two vectors that they are apart from each other uh, in the first case if we are asked about the geometric angle between them u and v it's clear according to the definition this is the uh, needed angle in the second case we have vectors with the same extremity and we are given the measure of this angle we need to find the geometric angle between u and v but we need them positioned at the same origin in order to get this we try to change the form the the position of u and v in to get them at the same origin to do this we may as you will see we may slide u to get u prime and v to get v prime in a way that u prime and v prime are equal to u and v respectively by this way you can easily see that the geometric angle between u prime and v prime since they have the same origin is this one and you can easily notice that this angle is equal to that by vertically opposite angle uh, property 
Thus, the geometric angle from the beginning between u and v, even if they have the same extremity, is also this angle, which is alpha. Okay, let's see the next case. Case 3, where we have a vector, the extremity of the first vector is placed at the origin of the second vector v. And we are given the angle theta. This is theta. Okay. Uh, we need them again, according to the definition, uh, placed at the same origin. And this is not the case. So we try to do what we have done in the case 2. If we slide vector u, let's say, and put its origin at the origin of v to get the needed angle. So this is, in the, this is the true angle or the angle, geometric angle between u or this u, u prime and v, which is in fact, let's call it alpha, but we are given theta. And since you know uh, this is a straight angle, then alpha will be 180 minus theta or pi radians minus theta. Knowing theta, we can find uh, the geometric angle alpha. Let's say, for example, if, uh, if theta is 30 degrees, then the geometric angle between u and v is not 30. It's in fact 180 minus 30, which is 150. Okay. Let's see the last case, which is uh, where we have u and v uh, are apart from each other. Usually in uh, exercises, we may replace vector by another vector. Again, we slide one of them to put the origin of the second on the origin of the first by slide or draw a copy for v, let's say, at the origin of u to get v prime. By this way, we get uh, two vectors of the same origin, thus the geometric angle between them is this one. You can see if we change v, v prime, which is equal to v, still at the same at the origin of u, or you may uh, slide or uh, translate u and put it at the origin of v. As you see, again we get the geometric angle between these two factors. Okay, the conclusion is to have to find the geometric angle between two vectors. We must we must have them drawn at the same origin to get this. Okay, let's see another cases if we have. Okay, uh, we have a special case where we have collinear vectors you know two collinear vectors are either of the same sense of same sense or of opposite sense what if we have if they are of same sense what about the geometric angle between them as you see we have u and v placed at the same origin and they are of same sense we are you can see that the angle between them is zero. Why? Why it's zero? You can see this. This is this. I started from 180, and I'm trying to have them of the same, having the same sense. At the end, you can see that the angle between them, geometric angle, is in fact zero. Uh, sometimes they are positioned uh, away from each other but still they have the same sense even in this case we can uh, understand that the, the geometric angle between them is zero and for this reason as you see we may uh, translate v and put it at the origin of u and we get the same uh, case previous case so the geometric angle between V and U, even if they are apart from each other, is still zero, uh, having them this, 
if they have the same sense. Okay. In the second case, if we have two vectors of opposite sense, okay, if this is the case, they have the same origin, so according to the definition, the geometric angle between them is this one, which is clear, a straight angle, so it's 180. We can see this by making this animation. It's 180, in fact, once they have the same, uh, they have opposite, sorry, uh, sets. Even, again, if we have the case uh, of two vectors that are apart from each other, but of opposite sense, as you see, again, we can say directly that the angle between them is 180. For this reason, as you see, by sliding V and put it, uh, or translating V and put it at the origin of U, and the angle between them again is 180. Clear? The last case, by this way, we we will cover all the cases. The orthogonal vectors, two vectors u and v are orthogonal if their geometric angle is 100, is 90. So, u and v are orthogonal, and we write, we use this symbol to express uh, the orthogonality of two vectors. Some people put a dash under this symbol, or simply like the perpendicular, uh, what do we use in perpendicular lines. As you see, we have vector u positioned here horizontally and another vector v, which is vertical. And uh, we are, uh, we can notice that easily, you can notice that uh, the geometric angle between u and v is 90, so they are orthogonal vectors. We may have them um, in another position like this. If you see, we don't care about the sense of V and U. They have right angle between them, even if they are apart from each other. We say in this case that these two factors are orthogonal. Okay, by this way, we covered all the cases of geometric angle. That's it. I'll give you a simple homework please try to practice it just make uh, pause the, this video and write this all of this uh, on your copybook and try to deliver me the homework okay goodbye